We were absolutely delighted, obviously, because like all sports club, we're de dependent on raising revenue of our own and any bonuses like uh, Alistair's is tremendous. You know, I've been down here probably about 40 years is my association with the club. It's become a, uh, a second home really for us. So my youngest son, Joe, plays here. Um, and um, I've been very lucky enough to be around people within the club that have made that experience for him over the last 15 years very, very special. What, what might happen in the next few years? Our big goal is to build a new pavilion to replace this that used to be an old Barclays Bank building. When I first came here, uh, at each end of the pavilion there was one stone-based shower and that was it. I think it will mean a lot to the club, but the thing when I joined Banstead in 2016 that I noticed from clubs I'd played at previously is that this is really the centre of the community on a Saturday afternoon on the patio you'll have you know, up to sort of 100, 150 people around the ground watching um, and with it being sort of a, a public area there's always so many people coming through and I think for the club and the community to have a facility where we can hire it out will be amazing for for people to have that facility to come down and, and use the club and be a real part of our community. That out there is the village green so we want the club to actually embrace the whole of the community so that we're a, a community club and when we run our fireworks night here in November the whole of the village turns up. And for me, me personally, I mean, I'm lucky enough to be able to, um, because the PCA and the England Legends have the opportunity to give a little bit of money to that by, uh, by Green King. But uh, I mean, there's a couple, just wanted to talk briefly about a couple of people that are very important to me. Richard Condy, who, who passed in the last couple of years, and Ray Watson, two people who were very uh, pivotal to the club, um, who, who gave an awful lot over a very long period of time. Those two men that I mentioned were outstanding stalwarts of the club uh, and I'd like them to be recognised as part of a rebuild here and it's not just the club, it's the community and everything involved with that. The commitment of the people who actually run the place is, is tremendous. I've been privileged to be part of it for all those, well, back in 1971 I think it was. So I've seen massive changes uh, and most of them, all of them really, uh, for the better. We won Division One, which is the second tier in Surrey this year, moving into the Premier League. That we want to develop our own players and you know give them opportunities to play Premier League cricket. So it's going to be a step up, but we've got such talent and there's such a good spirit amongst those guys. They had the under 15 side that got to the under 15 national final at Lords. And I think it will be a really exciting next sort of 10 years at Banstead. Yeah, I love, I love playing for the Legends. As long as my body is able, I'll continue playing for the Legends. I think we, everywhere we go, we get so well uh, looked after, um, treated really specially. And we have some very competitive fixtures. <clears throat> We've got some great players and friends that I've known for many years, and that's what makes it special for me. Cheers, good to see you. Yeah, it's very good to see you.